welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Lalita and today in this video I am going to discuss about biomedical instrumentation trainer and its order code is 2UN0175.32. With the help of this apparatus we can check the BPM of any person. Now I am going to give you an overview of this apparatus. In this apparatus we have a display from where we can measure the value of BPM. This is the showing this showing the highest value of BPM which is 120 and lowest value of BPM is 52. With the help of this switch we can set the highest and lower value of the BPM. With the help of this we can increase and with the help of this switch we can decrease. And after pressing the enter key it will be set. With the help of threshold switch the value of threshold can be increased or decreased. This is the self test gain switch and this is the gain switch through which the gain can be increased or decreased. Here we can connect the electrodes. This is the self test mode switch and on this ECG output we can connect the DSO channel. Now with the help of this apparatus we will check the BPM of any person. So first of all I have connect this apparatus to the electrodes and I have also connect this electrodes to the clips. Now we will apply this ECG jelly to all these clips I have already connect. So let's start to check the BPM of any person. Now we will check the BPM of the patient. So as I told you that first of all we will apply this jelly to on this clips I have already applied now we apply this red clip on the right hand and yellow clip on the left hand and black clip on the left leg now we will measure the bpm on the trainer clip so as i told you that we will check the bpm of the patients i have connected uh, all the clips to the patients now you can see the on the display of this apparatus BPM is showing uh, at approx 84 and ECG waveforms you can see on the DSO display. So like that with the help of this apparatus we can measure the BPM of the patient. So that's all the demonstration which is given by me. If you have any query related to this apparatus you can go through the link which is given in the description and if you want to know more about this apparatus you can go through the lab manual. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.